Hello, welcome to another Soul Print Pendulum Friday. Thank you so, so very much for being here. Um, just a couple of housekeeping things that I just want to go through before we get to some of your really, really interesting questions. Okay, so first, um, I am currently scheduling private readings um, in the last two weeks of this month of July. So if you're interested in getting a private reading, just go into the Dropbox below and there is an email address, soulprint888 at gmail.com. Just send me out a request for information and I will get back to you. Um, also, don't forget that on Saturday morning, I do release um, crystal readings for the week. So you might want to check those out if you have not. Um, Aquarian... Professional Aquarian. I swear I'm going to get that right one of these days. Um, she, uh, uh, Kathy Beal, was here on Tuesday. If you've not seen Tuesday's video about the astrology connected to um, Trump and Biden and Kamala Harris and other stuff, <laughs> go check it out. It was a really um, valuable bunches of information she sent out. Now, having said that, I just lost it. Hang. Okay. I'm sorry, I got to find it again. Um, when she was on the video, he talked about a, um, sorry, she talked about doing sort of a class where she was going to be looking at um SCOTUS and and their charts and um <clears throat> kind of what's going on there astrologically with them etc she has now scheduled that for July 18th now if you can't attend live you can apparently get um a link to take you to the video of it so I'm going to put that um, link below in the um, comments area and I'll be right sort of right near the top um, so you can find it sounds like it's going to be really really fascinating so I just wanted to get that out there all right questions questions here we go <laughs> All right, so for those of you who might be new here, just so you know, excuse me, when my pendulum goes side to side, it means I am protected and it's ready to communicate. Show me yes. It will go back and forth. And show me and show me no. I want you all to notice with the no, you will see that the pendulum does sort of a back and forth thing before it it transitions into sort of that, that circular motion. The pendulum has been programmed that way. Um, just so you know, it's not that I'm trying to change an answer or anything like that. If the pendulum just simply doesn't move or moves a little bit, then stops. It literally means that the question, the answer for the question either isn't available right now or it's not appropriate to ask. All right. I'm going to ask a bunch of questions first, just based on what has been going on. I cannot believe it's been like two weeks since that debate and the media does not seem to be able to move off of it. Even if you have already contacted your representative, your senator, um, particularly if they're a Democrat, and media outlets. So MSNBC, CNN, NBC, whoever it is you listen to that's like sort of corporate media, send them another message telling them there's like really important stuff going on. And like maybe they should be focusing on that. Now, I'm recording this at three o'clock um, Mountain Time on Thursday. Later on this afternoon, Biden is going to give a press conference where he is going to be answering questions. 
based on how that goes, you, I, I may release another video that you would see on Friday. Um, so just keep that in mind. Again, you know, hit the subscription bell or hit the notification bell with your subscription and that way you'll get notified. All right, enough, enough, enough chatter. Here we go. Is Judge Cannon on someone else's payroll other than the government? Okay, no. Let me ask a follow-up question. Oh, I went to ask my questions. I'll, I'll get to that. Um, is Judge Cannon beholden to anyone besides the court system? Okay, back to yes. Will the New York courts overturn Trump's conviction? I don't actually understand the question. Um, so I think what we're looking at is, let's say, for example, um, there is a possibility that, um, oh, okay, no, wait a minute, I do get it. So this is talking about cases that have already been established. So that would be the um, the business case and the E. Jean Carroll case. I don't think either one of those can get overturned because the business stuff was what when he was in business, all right? And the E. Jean Carroll stuff, even though he started those comments in the presidency, he then went on to say them a whole bunch of times when he wasn't. So I don't see how that's going to... But let's see. Will the New York courts overturn Trump's conviction? Okay, no. What I was starting to mumble about was there is the potential for Judge Chutkin, once she does the whole evidentiary hearing thing, et cetera, et cetera, to determine that there, the charges cannot go forward because they would fall under the immunity clause. So I'm going to ask the question this way. Once the January 6th case in Judge Chutkin's court has been reviewed, are there still going to be charges that go forward against Donald Trump? Okay, yes. Do you see a major health event happening to 45 before the November election? Oh, so not do, will a major health event happen to 45 before the November election? This is a yes. Will Republicans stuff ballot boxes with fake ballots this November? No. And I'm just going to add a supporting question to that, which is, is election security going to be more intense than it has ever been before. Yes. Will Biden add seats to the Supreme Court before his inauguration in January 2025? Uh, that's a no. If no, will Biden add seats to the Supreme Court between his July inauguration and the end of July 2025? Yes. Is Donald Trump still a Russian asset? Yes, he is. And remember, this is just for entertainment purposes only. Ah, will one or more women come out of the shadows to implicate Don Condon with Epstein's sick endeavors? Yes. And if so, is that going to happen before the November election? 
Okay, so you can see this, right? It's It's got a very slow sort of yes going on. Um, so what I'm going to say is based on that, it really does look like decisions haven't been made yet. Okay. When Navarro and Bannon get out of prison, will they go back to crime or surrender to Mr. Smith and give him important information? All right. So let me reword that this way. Um, when Navarro and Bannon are released from prison, are they going to continue to support the um, the Donald Trump political nonsense? Yes. When Navarro and Bannon get out of prison, will they offer important information to Jack Smith and any of those investigations? I mean, if they were going to, they would have done it by now, right? Will Josh Smith, a Democrat, win the governor's election in November in North Carolina? That's a yes. Also, will North Carolina go blue and the state electoral votes go to President Biden? Okay, so is North Carolina going to turn blue as a result of this election? That's a yes. And um, are the state's electoral votes going to go to President Biden? And that's a yes. Should we trust Rachel Maddow and MSNBC News? So there's been all of this talk about how all of the, the big big wigs um, at the big news stations have donated Trump's campaign. Um, I, let me ask this this way first. Have the big news organizations donated to both presidential campaigns? Yes. And I got to say, I think that's actually pretty standard. Is MSNBC News, CNN, etc. Are they are is the on air talent <clears throat> being pushed or encouraged to continue the narrative? with regards to Joe Biden and his presidential run? Yes. I don't know. I mean, I guess whether you trust them ends up being a personal decision. Um, I know a lot of you people are really fed up. I know a lot of you have unsubscribed. I, again, send out messages to these corporations and say enough is enough. Um, and I suspect by the time you see this, that conference will have happened. And so that's either going to settle things or slow things down or amplify them. Um, let's ask the question, shall we? Okay, by tomorrow it'll be old news, but let's ask now since it's before the news. Is Joe Biden going to have a successful press conference later on today, on Thursday? Is it going to be deemed successful? Yes. All right. If Trump doesn't make it on the ballot in November, will the GOP run Doug Burgum in his place? No. So apparently, according to the short list, it's uh, J.D. Vance and Marco Rubio, who are, and this Bergen guy. Um, should that happen, what, what they will do is they will look to probably Marco Rubio. They're going to be looking for somebody who understands politics. Um, I don't think they're going to be really keen to go with another... Um, successful businessman. Um, so that's that.
Trump stated that he has no knowledge of Project 25. Good Lord. I would like to ask the pendulum if his mega followers become desensitized over his statements towards them. All right, let's break this down a little bit. First of all, everybody knows that Trump was lying about not knowing who, you know, Project 2025 was. Apparently, it's up to like 80% of the people who worked with him in his administration or on his campaign that are part of writing. It's literally, it's like the 900-page manifesto as far as I'm concerned. Um, so... That's just crap, okay? Um, and I'm not going to ask if it's true, because we all know that he absolutely knows about Project 2025. <clears throat> They're also uh, starting to throw around the term Agenda 2025, I think. Um, and and it's the same thing. This is just talking about all the steps that Trump's going to take when he gets into office. And listen, he's not going to. It's not going to be him doing it. He's a puppet. But they are going, they will be manipulating things and, and their strategies all through the government at all levels. So, again, the election is about saving democracy and blocking the energies of Project 2025. Will, will mega followers... actually start to hear what Trump is saying, like hear it and understand it. No. Has Donald Trump lost between 5 and 10% of his mega followers so far? Yes. So again, I think we've talked about this before. The ones who are staying are kind of like embedded, but there are people who are starting to uh, have to have left already. Certainly, the more the information gets out about Project 2025 and people actually start understanding exactly what is in this thing, he's going to lose, I think, more votes from Republicans. Let's ask the question. As more and more people, as Project 2020, 2025 becomes more amplified and there's more talk about it, is Donald Trump going to lose some of his voters when they realize exactly what is in the Project 2025 agenda? Are some of them just going to go, okay, that's just, it was too far? And that's strong guess. All right. AOC has introduced articles of impeachment for Thomas and Alito. Is it Thomas and Alito or was it? Yeah, no, sorry. You're right. Thomas and Alito. Um, will that be the reason they step down? Okay, let's start here. Are the articles of impeachment going to be voted in? They think it's how they do it. It's a really small yes right now. Okay. Are Supreme Court Justices Thomas or Alito going to step down as a result of the intense scrutiny they continue to be under. And again, a little yes. Honestly, it feels like they're still trying to figure out how to wiggle out of all the attention and the focus. Is there dark money behind the uproar telling Biden that he should step down as a candidate for president? Yes. Uh, will this calm down soon? So will this calm, calm down within the next seven to 10 days? Okay, that's a pretty strong yes. All right, let's hang on to that. 
Um, during the debate, did Biden enter into panic mode? Did he blank out because of the evil Trump represents to the U.S. and the world? Okay, I'm not quite understanding the phraseology of that. Let's take a look. During the debate, was there anything else going on with Biden besides sort of not feeling well, the cold, being exhausted? Was there anything else physically that was going on with him that contributed to his performance? Okay, yes. Does what was going on with him have any connection, no matter how remote, to his cognitive abilities? No. I have to tell you, energetically, it really does feel like, I mean, aside from the fact that they plugged his head full of stats and numbers and stuff, which you can't fight Trump with that kind of information because what he says is so outrageous that you have to respond to the outrageous um, as opposed to uh, uh, responding to the outrageous with facts and figures. I think part of what happened with Biden, aside from the fact that he just wasn't feeling well, he wasn't prepared properly for that debate. Um, and there was other, I'm sorry, but there were other things that went on, the, his positioning, the mic. There were things that went on that were not exactly above board. But I think what Biden had a hard time to almost wrapping his head around was the extent to which Trump would lie and that the fact that there was literally no effort in any way to correct him in real time and then I think that for Biden it was a matter of you know fine if you don't want to correct the small stuff I'll agree to that but I don't think that anybody actually realized how outrageous some of the stuff Trump would say was and I think in some ways Biden was just sort of thrown um <clears throat> will it be will it be revealed about Trump involvement in Epstein's sex trafficking ring Okay, yes. Again, right now, those papers have been out for a while. No one's talking about them. Why? Because they're screaming about Joe Biden. So, you know, will victims come forward and reveal Trump's involvement at some point in time going forward? Okay, yes. Uh, will Speaker Johnson be out of a job before the end of the year? Right now, it looks like no. Is there a better than 50% chance that Hakeem Jeffries will ascend to Speaker of the House before the end of this year? That's a yes. You know, so what do you do with that, right? Um, Well, Dems will win more than 20 seats in the House. Everybody in the House is up for re-election every two years. So they would certainly need to win more than 20 in order to get a majority, never mind a supermajority, Let's ask the question a different way. As a result of the November 2024 election, will the Democrats gain more seats in the House than they have now? Yes. Will the Dems take the Senate by a margin of 
five or more seats. That's still undecided. Will the Dems hold hold the Senate? Will will the Democrats be um, the majority in the Senate as a result of the election? Yes. Okay. Quickly, want to bounce through some of my questions because just simply because it, it it I think we all could use a little bit of just reassurance because the static. And the noise won't stop. Um, so let's just ask a couple of questions here, shall we? Is Joe Biden going to step down from his presidential run in the 2024 election? Is he going to step down? No. Is he going to continue his run up to the election? Yes. Is he going to win, hold the presidency? Yes. Is Donald Trump and the Republicans and or the Republicans going to lose significantly as a result of the November 2024 election? Are they going to lose? I don't think, okay, that was a no. Let's ask the question in a different way. As a result of the 2024 election, is the United States going to end up with a Republican president? No. Are the are, are the amount of seats that the Republicans hold in Congress, House and Senate? Is that number going to be reduced as a result of the November 2024 election? Yes. Are, is Joe Biden going to suffer any significant health events? that could impact his ability to continue a successful run for president um, for this coming election. Any significant health concerns or issues? No. All right. That's what I know. I hope you enjoyed today's Pendulum Friday. Uh, again, thank you to the amazing Joyce who gets this stuff out to me. Um, okay, so that's what I know. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Um, have a great one. Do something nice for yourself and someone else. Take care. And I will see you here next week. But double check to make sure I don't put out another video on Friday as a result of this press conference. Take, take, take care now. Bye-bye.